Hey everybody, this video once again brings us back down to a beautiful downtown Winter Garden, Florida. I've got some packages to drop off at the post office. I don't think anything waiting for me to be picked up, though I could be wrong about that. I don't know, somebody may have sent me something. I have no idea, we're gonna find out, but I definitely do have some orders, some things that some of you guys have purchased and some other people have purchased off of Macari and off of my Instagram store. I got some stuff to send out, gotta get that stuff in the mail gotta get that stuff going so i'm gonna drop those off see if i have anything waiting for me to be picked up and then possibly maybe i'm thinking we should go hit up the winter garden goodwill because at the claremont goodwill yesterday i scored big if you guys have not seen that video definitely check it out so i'm gonna go hit up the other goodwill the one here in winter garden and i, I, <laughs> I want to see what they have i'm still sick I wanted to walk down here quickly and see what the big red bus was about. This is a blood donation bus, which is pretty cool. I would donate some blood today. I would, I would give some blood. However, I have just recently been tattooed, so they're not gonna take my blood, unfortunately. Not gonna be donating any blood today. Again, I do have a cold, so I should probably keep all the blood I have in me at the moment until this cold's gone. But still pretty awesome that the, uh, the big red bus is here and you can donate blood down here in downtown Winter Garden. That was pretty awesome. They had a Disney Magic book in there for the uh, the cruise ship. I've never actually been on a Disney cruise. Eventually, I'll go on a Disney cruise. It's gonna happen in the next, I don't know, I'd say next couple of years, I will probably be on a Disney cruise. I definitely wanna do one. Danielle's a big fan of them. So at some point, I'll go on a Disney cruise, but never been on one. I kind of like quickly skimmed through the book, not really anything I want. So I'm gonna pass on that. But all right, we again do have packages that we've got to drop off. All right, so nothing for me at the post office, but I wasn't expecting anything, so not really much of a um, of a letdown. So, all right, packages have been dropped off, orders have been have been dropped off, shipped out. They are on their way. So we're gonna go hit up, like I said, the Winter Garden Goodwill. See what we can find there. That's usually the Goodwill I find the better stuff at. But again, yesterday was amazing at the Claremont Goodwill. So I'm hoping. I mean, I'm I'm jinxing myself here i'm gonna knock on some some wood i mean i'm jinxing myself probably but i'm hoping since uh, the claremont goodwill was so fantastic yesterday and that's the goodwill where i find the least amount of stuff the winter garden goodwill is going to be amazing right we're going to find out all right we have made it to the winter garden goodwill so um again yesterday found some cool stuff at claremont so i'm hoping for hoping for some cool stuff here at winter garden i mean i'm not holding my breath or anything. I, I realize they're two very different stores. Just because one store has amazing stuff does not mean the other store is going to have anything amazing, but I'm hoping. I can find at least one really cool thing, preferably a movie for me or a vinyl mation. I'll take a vinyl mation as well. It's been a while since I picked up a vinyl mation, or at least I feel like it's been a while since I picked up a vinyl mation. Wouldn't mind getting one of those. I'm eventually gonna build a pretty awesome vinyl mation display in the library. Looking forward to doing that, but I need some more vinyl mations to go on said display. So, all right, anyway, again, here at the Winter Garden Goodwill, we're gonna see what they have. It definitely seems like most of these stores have been pretty well picked through when it comes to Halloween stuff. Just about a week ago, 
this place was jammed full of all kinds of Halloween decor and costumes and all kinds of interesting things. Now it seems like they just have a little bit of, of Halloween stuff here in one random Mickey light, flashlight. That's, that's interesting. There's a raven or a crow. That's pretty cool. I like the cat and the moon pillow. That's really neat. But anyway, it does seem like the stores have been pretty well picked through when it comes to Halloween stuff. Not nearly as much as, as they had over uh, the last week or so. And I don't believe I see anything I want to pick up. Well, hold on, maybe this. Okay, so while I'm waiting for Danielle to get back to me as to whether or not she wants this, I'm gonna assume she does. It's kind of like a, it is a blow mold, I think. It's a newer, modernized blow mold that lights up for only $1.99. So while I am waiting for her to get back to me, I am gonna go through all the Disney stuff here. I'm not seeing any vinyl Masians, but they do have a really cool Bing Bong plush. That is awesome, but I do know better. Then to pick up Disney plush, I gotta stay away from that stuff or I'll start collecting it. Not something I wanna do. They also have some random bags of like figures here with some Funko Pops in them, but I don't see any vinyl Masians in those bags. Yeah, I don't see any vinyl Masians anywhere, unfortunately. So I think vinyl Masians are not gonna be happening today. They do have a bunch of ears, but I wanna say Danielle has all of those. I think she has all of these as well. This isn't legit. That's a like a one you would get off Etsy or something like that. So I don't think she actually needs any of the ears. Here's a um, Louis. They sh see, that's what they should have done. They should have done the uh, the initials on the on all the shirts because I always forget who is Huey, Dewey, and Louis. I'm assuming because there's an L in a shirt. This is Louis, right? I I never can remember who is who. There's another bag full of Funko Pops, some Mickey in there, which is cool. And is that Belle? I think that's Belle and, and Gaston. Ooh, the Gaston one's pretty cool. But I, I don't need those. All right, so I'm thinking as far as Disney is concerned, there's nothing I want. Okay, so again, Disney is a bust. Not picking up anything over there. No Vital Masians, unfortunately. I need, need some more Vital Masians in my, in my life. Anyway. Danielle did get back to me and she does want the uh, the blow mold. I knew she would. I was like, there's no way she's gonna say no to the, uh, there's no way she's gonna say no to the blow mold. So yeah, I'm picking this up and, and for two bucks, that's a great deal. All right, so the blow mold is awesome. Good find for Danielle. But of course the real reason why I came out here was not just to find a blow mold or even vinyl Masians. It was of course to go through all the movies and Looks like they have a fairly decent selection of movies this week. There's a ton of Blu-rays up here. I don't necessarily see anything I need off the bat, but there are a ton of Blu-rays, lots of DVDs, lots of video games, a whole bunch more, seasons, all kinds of stuff here. There's gotta be something I need to pick up for myself. I'm not gonna walk out of here with just a blow mold. There's gotta be at least one movie I wanna buy for me and my collection. I'm not really finding anything up here in the Blu-rays I need, but they have a ton of Disney Blu-rays. If you're looking to beef up your Disney Blu-ray collection, this is the store to come to. There's a ton of awesome, really good stuff here. I mean, Aristocats, that is really, really cool. Don't come across that too often. There's Beauty and the Beast, Peter Pan, Frozen and Frozen 2. Lots and lots of good Disney titles, but they are Disney titles I already own. And I think everything else I already own as well. So I don't think I'm picking up any Blu-rays, unfortunately. I'm unfortunately not really finding anything I need to pick up whatsoever. They do still have all these seasons of Murder, She Wrote. But again, they're asking $15 for these a piece, which uh, I mean, I, I don't know. They're, they're brand new factory seal, but I think you can get the entire series in like one set for for fairly cheap these days. Mm -hmm. So I think $15 per season and some of them being opened, some of them not being opened. I don't really think that's the um, the greatest deal in the world, which is probably why they're still sitting here. Not that I want to pick up Murder, She Wrote anyway. It's a good show, but not really a show I ever got like super into. So I wouldn't pick those up. They also have like a bunch of these Dukes of Hazard seasons. I was trying to get all of these at one point, but now that I'm slimming down my collection, this is one of the shows that did not make the cut. I never really got into Dukes of Hazard either. It's a good show, 
it's just on a show I watched a, a lot. I, 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 didn't, I did not really grow up with this show. I did not really watch it. I mean, Gilligan's Island and stuff like that. Those are shows I, I used to watch and Green Acres and all that stuff. I used to watch those shows all the time with the Brady Bunch and Partridge Family. Love those shows. But for whatever reason, Dukes of Hazard, not really a show I watched as a kid. So I think I'm just going to end up passing on those. And again, I just don't really see anything else I want to pick up. So I'm thinking as far as movies are concerned, it might, yeah, it might actually be a bust. I don't want to say I jinxed myself, but maybe I jinxed myself a little bit. There is nothing I want to pick up over here for me, not even anything I want to grab for the store. There is nothing I need over here whatsoever. Although, I did find this, a copy of Nintendo Land for the Wii U. My son has been saying he wants to get a Wii U. Sean's been saying he wants a Wii U, but we haven't found one for a good price yet, so we haven't picked one up. Eventually, eventually I will find a Wii U for a good price. I will buy it for him. So I figure, I guess I should start buying games. If I plan to buy the system at some point, I should probably start picking up some games. And this is only $4.99, so I'm gonna grab this for him. Again, he doesn't have a Wii U yet. He has nothing to play this on, but all right. Yeah, for, for five bucks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up some media today at least. I'm grabbing a video game for, for Sean. But yeah, there is. There's nothing over here I want. Media for the most part was a bust. I don't really buy CEDs anymore, so I don't know why I keep getting excited when I see these. And they're also the same ones they've had for the last couple of months that have been drawn all over. Look at poor Bill Murray right there. But I keep seeing these sticking out from the records. And I keep thinking, oh my gosh, okay, they, got, they have CEDs. Maybe it's something different. Maybe it's something new. Maybe it's a cool like horror movie on capacitance electronic disc. But no, it never, it never is. It's just these weird drawn on CEDs, same ones over and over again that nobody wants because they're destroyed. I don't know why I, I keep looking at them, but I, 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 I still look at them and I will probably continue to look at these every time I come in to the store. But you know what? The one time I don't look at those CEDs, the one time I tell myself, no, it's the same ones, the same drawn on ones over and over and over again. I'm not gonna waste my time. That's the day where there's a whole bunch of obscure CED horror releases that I should pick up. No, I'm not gonna pick this up, but it's a really awesome Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort mug. It's a Halloween mug, look at that. With the mad scientists and the mummy. There's a ghost, like a, a zombie, and uh, a Bride of Frankenstein. That is a really, really awesome refillable mug. That is cool for only $4. I love the, the design of this. I, I, I have no need for this. I would never use this. I It, it would just collect dust. But yeah, that's a heck of a mug. That is cool. See, this is what Disney needs to do. They keep putting out like the same, just sort of bland mugs over and over again, like these. Like, yeah, they, they change them up every so often, but they should do some really cool ones like this. That is pretty awesome. No freaking way. Do you guys know what this is? I knew exactly what this is when I saw it. It's not a VHS rewinder. This is a beta rewinder check that out i actually have the same exact rewinder already at home but i only have one beta rewinder why do i need more do i really watch my beta all that often no not really but i'm thinking for only four dollars i should be picking this up right it's always gonna have a uh, a backup my assumption is this, this does work at least i hope it works for four dollars i'm taking the chance that is cool that is an awesome find i see VHS rewinders all the time out in the wild, but beta rewinders, I, I think I've only ever seen one. It's the one I own. I, I just, I never come across these. So yeah, for four bucks, I get it. I don't really, okay, I will fully admit, I don't really need this, but I'm totally picking this up. You know what it is? You know why I did not find a ton of awesome movies today and why I'm not finding any Vitalmations? It's because I did not grab a cart. I grabbed a cart yesterday, said, man, I, I hope I grab in this cart, I'm not jinxing myself. Turns out that grabbing a cart did not jinx me. Grabbing a cart actually paid off. I found so much cool stuff and I filled the cart up. I probably should have grabbed a cart today when I came into the store. And then maybe I would have found some more awesome stuff. I'm already having a difficult time carrying what I have at this moment, so probably should have grabbed a cart. So I am going through the toys now, hoping to maybe find a vinyl mason or two just sort of like crammed in here somewhere. So far, not the case. 
But I did see this, a Minecraft like mailbox. It's a tin. My guess is something probably came in here at one point. It's pretty cool. I was thinking about getting this for Sean and then realize I could pick this up from, I don't know, somewhere for only $2.79 or I could pay $4 for it here. Yeah, I feel like I should just try to find out where they sell this and buy it new with probably whatever came inside it. If, if anything, I mean, maybe who knows? Maybe it was just an empty tin, but still, I, I do enjoy the fact that it's only $2.97 retail or $4 used at, at Goodwill. All right, so unfortunately, I'm not really finding anything. Although this is cool, a Sentinel. That is awesome. Anyway, I don't, I don't need that. So no Vitalmations, no really nothing else I want to pick up, with the exception of this, a Yoshi plush here, brand new with tags for only $4, $3.99. Now, I believe Sean already has the same exact plush, but I think he has it at his mom's house, not at my house. So I'm going to grab this for, for our house. That is pretty cool. With tags and everything, never used, definitely picking this up. So Sean's making out on this trip. He's getting the, the Yoshi plush. He's getting Nintendo Land. Danielle is getting a, um, a blow mold. And I guess I'm getting a beta rewinder. So, all right, I'm finding some things, just not anything too crazy. This is where I have to tell myself I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it over and over and over again because I do want this. I think it's a Shamu backpack, although I don't see SeaWorld on here anywhere. I don't see a tag. So maybe this is not vintage SeaWorld. Maybe this is just a random generic Shamu backpack. It's still really cool though. If this is SeaWorld, that is amazing. Oh wait, there's a, there's a tag right here that just tells you what it's made of. I don't see anything about SeaWorld on here. So maybe this is not a SeaWorld backpack after all. So maybe I don't want this as much as I thought I did, but still that's pretty cool, right? If that was Shamu, I mean, how awesome would that be? That is, that is pretty neat. They're only asking, what, seven bucks for this? Yeah, six ninety nine, seven dollars for this. I guess I'm gonna pass and like, thankfully it doesn't say SeaWorld across the side because if it did, I, I may have had to buy this. Again, with things I don't need to pick up, but things I want to pick up. Look at these really awesome Marilyn Monroe prints. These are really, really cool. I can see these hanging up in the, uh, the living room, right? I know Danielle at one point had a bit of a fascination with Marilyn Monroe. I think that fascination has passed, maybe. I don't know, maybe she's still into Marilyn Monroe. Maybe she'd be okay with us hanging these up in the, uh, the living room. They're huge. These would be awesome. Those are really cool. I like, I mean, I like the one with her in the, uh, the Chanel bottle, but I really like the, uh, the one, one of her in the, uh, the dress there. That is cool. Again, things I, <laughs> things I just don't need but I am curious what they're asking. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? They're only $10 a piece. Looks like 20 at Ross at one point. Only 10 bucks a piece for these. That seems like a pretty good deal. I feel like I make a mistake every time I come into the store. I never really look at the stuff behind the counter. I'm seeing Roughnecks, I believe the uh, complete animated series over there on DVD, that's kind of awesome. There's a bunch of plush and some lithographs and some vintage uh, things like a, a sewing machine down there. They got swords and a guitar. There's a, um, a saddle, which is interesting. There's also, this is really cool. Check that out. Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom spell card binder. I don't think they do that game anymore. That was a really cool game you could actually play in the parks. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that game doesn't happen anymore. Disney, for some reason, got rid of that. I don't understand why. It was very popular. I remember like kids really enjoying that. My son really enjoyed it. They even made binders for the cards you would get. So why do they discontinue the game if they did? I don't think it's happening anymore. You guys can let me know, but that is cool for, wow, for $50. It was a cool game. I don't know if it was, if it was $50 cool. Jeez. I guess though, if the uh, the game is not anything they do anymore, if the game has been discontinued, they don't do the game in the parks anymore, they don't give out those cards anymore, then I suppose it's vintage now, right? The, the card binder is now vintage. Is that how they're, they're trying to get away with the $50 price tag? That's a lot.
All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for the Goodwill here in Winter Garden, Florida. Not anything too crazy. Definitely not as good as um, Claremont was yesterday, but it is it is what it is. I'm still pretty happy with my finds. Again, Nintendo Land for Sean, the Yoshi for Sean, the Blow Mold Cat for Danielle, and the uh, Beta Rewinder for me. The Beta re Rewind, Beta what? The Beta Rewinder was probably the, the best find I would say I just I never come across those ever. I I've, I've come across one in my in my lifetime, which is why I own just one of them. Now I have two, so that is awesome. That was a pretty cool find for uh, was it like four bucks? Good deal there. But all right, guys, that is gonna do it. I am still feeling under the weather, so I'm gonna head home now. But with that, guys, as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon if you guys do become a patron. I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to spread shop, spread shop, spread shirt. <clears throat> I gotta go lie down. Check down below for a link to spread shirt where you can pick up retro rest up t-shirts and hoodies and hats and buttons and stickers and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Also hit that join button and become a member of this channel and gain early access to all of my videos. <laughs> all right, guys, that's going to do it. All that stuff helps support the show, so I really do appreciate the help and appreciate the support. And if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, hashtag, oh man, what should today's hashtag be? Hashtag, um, beta rewinder. <laughs> my brain is not working. Hashtag, beta rewinder if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end i need my sleep i need some rest i need some i, I need to go drink some some uh, orange juice or something <laughs> guys and that's gonna do it so like i said hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed then i will see you guys in the next video where hopefully i'm feeling a little bit better and my mind is a little bit more with it all right see you guys then. thanks for watching bye Coming soon to Retro Rest Stop, a video all about shopping for Halloween merchandise at Target. <laughs> They're setting everything up right now. I know where Danielle's gonna wanna go this weekend.